Welcome back to No Man's Land for episode 20 with me, Farm Sim Snowy. Welcome back everyone. I was just looking at life outside of these walls. Because that way there's nothing, just us and our chickens and sheep. Help me! Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm down at the store, the shop, because following on from the last episode, we need to sort the corn out and I said we're going to chaff it which we are so we can put it in our bunker silo and see if we can beat our last silage payout so if we go and have a look in the catalogue we want I was already on it forage harvesters I'm going to go for this one because it's a little bit cheaper. It's not as powerful as this one. But it's a little bit cheaper. I'm not going to buy it. We're just going to lease it. Because it's still going to cost us €14,000 to lease. And we need the header for it as well. So I'm not going to change anything on it. It's just only the wheels we can change. So we're going to go for this bad boy. And it's got a trailer hitch on the back, so we should be able to connect our biggest trailer up to it. And the idea being, if you don't know already, is when we go for our corn, it harvests it and it shoots it out this pipe here, straight into our trailer. And we have then got chaff. So that is that. Now we need... A forage harvester header and I think it was that's quite expensive and that's the same as this What's that going to cost? That's another 6,000 to um, lease that. It's 9 metre width though. I think that's the widest one. Yeah. And it's going to go well with what we've just got. So we'll lease that. So that's just over 20,000 just on leasing that but there it is kind of funky looking and the header looks kind of mean so right let's jump on this Connect up to that. I'll whiz up back up to the farm and we can hook up the trailer and then we'll start chaffing our corn. Hopefully, we should get quite a nice amount off of it. Right, so let's connect up. To our trailer like that it'd be interesting to see how much we actually get off of this field I think we're gonna have to try and get some sort of shed again somewhere because where we've been buying more equipment it's starting to just be scattered around our farm and I don't like it we've still got this um, thing on the right container here on higher but it's still got some 
uh, digestating so I won't unleash that or off hire it right let's unfold that look how vicious that looks should recognise the trailer, there we go look at those spinning around you wouldn't want to get stuck in one of them right let's go for it I think this trailer is going to fill up quite quick Luckily, we haven't got to go too far to our um, bunker silo. Got nearly ten thousand litres already. Right, well I'll probably um, crack on doing this. That's quite cool from in cab. Probably missing loads here. <laughs> yeah, I'll finish this off. Um, I might do a time lapse. Depending on how long it actually turns out because this is going to take quite a while I should think so we're nearly at 4pm in the afternoon in game so I don't think we're going to get too much done for the rest of the day but I will finish this so just finishing off the last little strip it's taking over 30 minutes to do this I've lost count how many trailer loads we've got as well but when we tip this um, tip this last bit in we'll have a look but there's quite a lot over there I think already I think what we're gonna do because obviously I said we're trying well we will be our last record of silage um, I'm gonna do a mega mo of the areas that we own I think we might as well as in this episode buy another plot of land I've got my eye on a plot and I've got a plan for that plot Let's tip this off. Like so. Right, let's disconnect from that. Pipe in. I'll have to um take that back to the shop in a bit. So yeah, there's quite a bit in there already. So if we put our help menu on. We've got nearly 400,000 litres of chaff. Which already is more. I'm sure that's more than last time we got. So yeah. Um, we haven't got that many sort of grass areas what I'm thinking is I've got my eye on plot 28 I know we've got the track that runs down through it and we've got a tiny little bit of sort of wooded areas there 
and what I was going to do I wasn't going to extend this field I think we'll keep that that sort of size if anything if we buy 17 maybe extend it that way but I'm not going to go this way so we'll keep it that sort of quirky uh, shape with the trees but if we go into landscape mode I just want to show you and put the mini map on so we know where we are so I can mow all this area here which I will I'll probably do most of that off camera because you don't want to watch all that so now here we go into plot 28 which will allow us to pick up this as well like I say we've got the track running through there but what my plan was is because this is kind of the boundary say down to these trees before I do any of this though I'm going to mow it as well but I was thinking this could be our grass field so it would just be one big grass field and we'll do it properly we'll plough it up, turn it into a proper field and grow grass um, with fertiliser and whatnot, so that would give us more um, grass off of it so yeah basically just come across square and then follow as close to that track as we sort of can right up until roughly about there in line with that field and across and that is just going to be our grass field I'll get rid of all these trees I know killing off trees again but we will plant some more I promise it will happen so yeah that is my plan and we'll also own this tiny little bit to about there I'd say we might be able to squeeze something in there I don't know another cell point something like that maybe it's all work in progress at the, at the minute but that is my plan to have one big grass field and like I say we'll keep this this sort of quirky shape and if we do buy 17 it's not going to make much of a difference extending that possibly extend the grass field up round but that's further down the line so let's turn that off again what I'm going to do is I'll return this back to the shop um, I would like to return that as well with our digestating but at the minute I don't want to waste it so I'll get rid of this and I'll see you back up here right back up here I've just noticed after chaffing our corn um, there you go it needs ploughing that field so I think we're run over that with a subsoiler and then I'm thinking we'll put some soybeans in there so we'll have all four of these fields as soybeans um, and then we can quickly go over the digestate and probably off higher that thing over there but I am going to buy one of those I think in the future because I think that would be um, quite handy so where are we let's jump in the JCB subsoil is just there which is handy yeah I had to move the subsoiler and the fertilizer out of the shed over there to the left because um, our new cedar planter's gone in there it's even a little bit too long for that shed so I'm gonna have to think about some more storage soon right let's get this um, done this is probably going to take me a little while so let's just double check we're not on create fields because we don't want that to happen 
so we should be good to go as we are. I could get a worker doing this but um, I don't know what um, what it's going to be like. Tell you what, I might actually right, take the risk and do that. What I'll do, because I'm missing bits myself, is I'll do this little bit. Because if they do miss any bits, I can just come round and sort it out after they've finished. And then it means we can. Um, do a couple of other little jobs around the farm before we go to bed. Right. Let's lower that. they go and I'll worry about that what it looks like in a second now I think our chickens will probably need uh, a little bit of a clean up I might do that later uh, before we go to bed and as for our sheep actually Let's leave that there because our sheep do need a little bit of grass and water so we'll grab our smaller trailer because that was um, the one that worked better bell spikes in all right let's get some grass um, 61,000 litres let's just check they're on 4,000, that should be plenty what I've got in there actually. And then we'll top up their water as well while we're there. Probably have to go and do something with that wall as well before we go to sleep because that's um that's going to be full up overnight. We we'll start getting the warning saying um no more space for the wall. I mean, it took all that actually. Ah, because I was looking at the water bar <laughs> and not the grass and hay bar. Oh well, that's nearly filled them all up anyway on that. Right, let's drop that because the water tank's just here. test something because I believe 
we can back in here and get some water out of here if that is the case There we go, we're filling up. That means our water tower over there has technically been made redundant. I'm not sure how much it's worth. Let's have a quick look. But if we did get rid of that, that would give us a little bit more space for a shed or something. Uh, where are we? That's only worth 2,180. But if we can get water out of that um, lake there, there's no point having this. So we are going to sell that. Gone. That would give us more room. We can look into getting a shed down there or something like that. Let's get this. That's not quite near it, but the trigger's there. There you go. They should be all topped up, cool, ready to go. Chickens need cleaning out. Alright, I'll put the trailer back here. have a quick check on our workers see how they're doing hopefully they're doing okay missed a couple of little spots there and there but I can sort that out in a second Probably just leave them to it to be honest with you and not interfere at the minute. Right, let's put this away. Um, maybe we should look into getting that field, um, new plot rather now. over here what have we got 177,000 that's okay we can afford that we're gonna buy that right so we now own plot and let's put the mini map on 28 does that mean we can continue that on? Yes, just to there. I'll tell you what, I'll probably leave that though because we can pick that grass up now or whatever that is now. Could be, I'm not sure actually what that could be. Could be hay, I don't know. So from there, I think about, let's go that size. We'll just put in our um, track as we go. Is that going to be too big? No, that's probably about the right size for us. Like that. Concentration. Let's 
long as it's roughly where it's meant to be, it's going to look alright. That'll just give us a guide then of um, when we create that new field. It widens up there for some reason. Like so, maybe. Looking good, looking good. Bang, there we go, end of the line. So yeah, there's a few trees to come down in this plot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think oh, I'm going to leave, well, we don't own that anyway, but I was going to leave them anyway, even when we do own this part. So we're getting there. Like I say, we can uh, do a mega mo on there and get a lot more chaff. So we are. See, I can't even. I would like to follow behind him, but he's not doing. He's not doing the right bits. He's missing a few bits. Let's go and have a look what areas he's missed. Great big chunk there. Right, where are they? Right down there. I'll jump in because I'm going to quickly do these little bits here. just check something I think the fent can handle this subsoiler I'm just forgetting the um, it's 180 it definitely won't cope with a cedar and that's 150 might struggle a bit but definitely gonna need the cedar for um uh, the JCB for the cedar. Quickly just do these little bits and then we're kind of follow behind. if they missed getting some right old little dots on this section so down here I think they've missed a couple of bits you can't really physically see it but if I run across that bottom section that way I think that should sort it out yeah that's getting rid of those dots I think the fence is going to struggle I'm just going to do another quick circuit of this as well just the outside if it's too much for the fent we'll just have to stop the seeding and um, swap back over I'll just try to sort of kill two birds with one so, uh, stone so to speak we'll see what happens I'll just do a quick headland.
I think it would cope. I'm sure I've used a vent in the earlier episodes with this. Can't quite remember. So anyway, I need to drop that off there. And run and get the vent. We'll soon find out. Let's get um, lined up with it. Would help. Right, we'll go back to that bit where I dismissed them. Why is that struggling already? That's ridiculous. Right. I don't think this is going to work actually, but we'll try it. We will try it. <laughs> it's wanting to, it's trying to. Oh, here we go. I think it just sort of hits a rough bit and it struggles. We'll get them going anyway. It'll probably just mean that they'll take longer to do it than they normally would. But they should be able to cope. Right, JCB, connect up to the cedar and we'll get going with some soybeans. Let me just double check, it doesn't need liming, no. Tiny little strip there, but I'm not too fussed about that. That'll all get hit next time we um have to lime it. Fill up with some seed. Um, I shouldn't think we'll need the ta extra tank on there, but let's see what happens. There's quite a lot of seed there. Let's just go for it and see what happens. Alright, we're already on soybeans from the last time. I know this thing was expensive, but I think it's definitely worth it. Loads of soybeans. Just the last little bit left here. There's a couple of little bits that are missed here and there from the um, work of the subsoiler, which I quickly jumped in and sorted that out. But there we go. So we've got another field of soybeans 
on there. So I think we'll whiz over with the digester. Not sure if we'll get all of the field done with what we've got left. But what I think we'll do yard's looking a bit messy again now I will sort it out don't panic I'm just trying to get things done before the light starts going so if we get this hooked up to the tank I'm not sure how much is left in there not a lot run over and get the fence quick. So if I drop this off and hook the fence up to the slurry spreader pretty sure this subsoil is going to need a bit of work doing to it so we'll drop that off there now I just had a thought our silo holds pretty much everything does it hold digestate? I'm pretty sure it does Um, and that's saying silos owned because that's the BGA. Hmm. I was just thinking we could store some in that silo if need be. What I might do is get a worker going on this and shoot down to the BGA and fill the other tank up just to, uh, just to be safe but I don't want to fill that right up because then that's the only reason why I haven't returned it back to the shop because it's got some in it which is why I'm thinking can we store some in our silo right Forgotten how to use this already. No, we just turn it straight on. So, oh, turn that off. Is that enough? Right. Get them off and running. Oh, I've done it again. I'm have to have a shower again now before bed. Right. I'll grab the JCB. Um, and I'll go and get some more digestate. All right, so I've got another full load of digestate in here. He's still go. Oh, <laughs> perfect timing. He's just run out. Whoa, uh, that was a bit um. It's very heavy this trailer, it doesn't like um, breaking very sharply. Right, that's filling that up. So I'm wondering, because it says start overloading, so basically the tanker we've got now, because this is a bit new to me, I don't normally do slurry spread and digest eight. So I'm wondering now if we could unload this spreader into our silo and then really we wouldn't have to buy this um, tank.
tanker thing here. It's just a thought. He's missed that bit there. Well, that's because I started him off like that, actually, wasn't it? So let's run. I do like the shine of the digestate, though, compared to that. It looks quite cool. A bit patchy there. Hmm. Right. I'll, get, I'll probably get this finished because I think they've missed a couple of bits here and there. So I'll crack on and finish this and I'll see you in a second. That's the last of that field done. So if we have a quick look, we're all fertilised. Soybeans in, like so. This needs a good wash. Most of the vehicles, I expect, need a good wash, and some of them probably need a little bit of TLC. And not too bad, actually. The JCB is only on 78%. So I am going to do. All of that wash, service, repair, repair, even. And next time I see you will probably be in the morning of a new day. I'll um, clean the chickens up as well before I go to bed and sort out the sheep with the wool. I'll probably just push those pallets out of that zone until we figure out what we're going to do with that maybe invest in another trailer um, although I think that egg trailer I can just customize that to the wall trailer so maybe we could do that if I push them out of the zone yeah I'll probably do that but you'll find out next episode what I've um, done so I hope you've all enjoyed the episode if you have please give us a like and if you don't subscribe yet then please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty